everybody Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns welcome back everyone look who I have here <laughs> I know it's been a long while and some of you will will not even recognize um, this baby to everyone new hello and welcome to everyone who has been wondering, do I still, still have a Saskia in my collection and do I still have Nicholas? Yes, I do. Nicholas has been one of the babies that has been in my hope chest for a bit. And same as I was missing some other ones, I was missing Nicholas and I decided to take him out. I did a fun photo shoot and I'm going to get him dressed into a really cute outfit that I'd like to see on him that I think suits him really well so that I can do some more photos uh, tomorrow. So I thought I would chat with you all and change Nicholas and show him off because he is just, oh my gosh. I mean, look at this baby. Let me see what you all are seeing. Yeah, He is just such a hunk <laughs> such a little hunker monk oh my god he is heavy um he is a look at that face I mean look at the painting on this baby can you get any more amazing he is just absolutely incredible I I love him so much so it's funny I'm gonna talk about when I got Nicholas and uh you know what kind of took place uh, after he came in. So let me get started changing him. I'm going to show you what I'm going to change him into first, and then I'll get started baby chatting. So I am going to put him in this really sweet outfit. It's a, it's a one piece, uh, one piece, but it's like an overall, um, it has like a white shirt and then it's baby blue. It has pleating on it. It is by Coco. And it has a matching uh, jacket with the baby blue. It has a hood, a zipper, has some buttons on it. it has some white across with the, um, they call that Rickaraka. I'm not sure y'all know. <laughs> not, not great with describing the clothing. And then I'm just pairing it with these classic white baby shoes, little baby pods um, with his eyes. Like I just, I really wanted to see this, this outfit on him. And it is long sleeve, but it is a very light weight. Um, so I figure before it gets too, too hot where, you know, it, you know, it would be silly to put him in. Not that the doll is going to get hot, but y'all know what I mean. Um, we try, especially for taking photos and stuff, that you would dress them seasonally appropriate. So let's take this wooden passy clip off. And right now he's in some cute little um, next pajamas. They, they're white and they have uh, little monsters all over them. They're really, really cute. Um, they have like a little splash of... Uh, um, green and it kind of brings out his eyes and they're just so cozy and cute so I have been snuggling him the past um I think two nights in these so Nicholas has been weighted he came to me weighted very nicely but I decided um as I talked about in a previous video recent video um where I had Stellan about uh, re as collectors reweighting our babies to our specifications to our liking, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, I got some fantastic feedback from you all on that video. Thank you so much. I was loving reading all the comments. I uh, responded to um, a, a bunch of you as as many as I can. Um, it was just, it was great. Um, everyone really appreciated that video and it was just fantastic interacting with you all. So um, I got many, many Reborn Mommy doll collectors 
um, that said, you know, I was so worried about, you know, taking the head off. I think is that's the most, that's the first thing that we think of. Oh my goodness, taking the head off. Um, you know, our dolls come to us you know, all obviously put together and done by the artist. So it, it's nerve wracking thinking about taking their head off, opening them up and changing anything. Um, but the reality is we, you know, um, we all have different weight preferences. We all have different preferences about uh, the way that we'd like the weight distributed. For instance, like a baby like the Saskia Sculpt, for my preference, I like him to be able to sit up because to me, a baby um, that has little budding teeth, a baby of this quote age and size would be able to, um, oop, there you go, would be able to naturally sit up. Now he's on a boppy, so he's not going to stay, but he can sit up. He can sit up. So, um, you know, it, sometimes, you know, we have preferences and the Saskia can also, uh, it's a very versatile sculpt that can also be painted and rooted to look extremely baby-like. Um, I've seen some Saskias um, with painted hair or just short sparse rooting. Um, the teeth are not painted, so the baby looks you know, much younger and maybe wouldn't be able to sit up on their own yet. So that's one of the um, things that I absolutely love about the Saskia Sculpt. I feel like it is a extremely versatile sculpt, one of the most extremely versatile sculpts I've seen as far as um, seeing the uh, many, many different artist versions out there and how different this doll can look, this sculpt can look, to the point where sometimes I've looked at a baby and said, oh, what a gorgeous baby, and didn't even realize at first that it was a Saskia. You know, that's how versatile, uh, to me, this kit can be from, from what I see, which is super fun um, because... It's a popular sculpt. You see a lot of the sculpt, but yet you don't feel like you're looking at the same baby every time you see the sculpt because um, there's so much versatility in it and probably because it's a little bit of an older baby or bigger sculpt. And you got to figure with the budding teeth. I mean, some babies do get teeth really, really early. I mean, heck, some are born with teeth, you know, but that's the, not the norm. And, you know, uh, five or six months would be very early for a baby to be cutting teeth. You expect it more seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve months, you know, in and around there for a baby to be cutting teeth. So you're talking, you're not talking about a freshly newborn baby here, that's for sure. Now, Nicholas, um, I did add add some extra weight to him uh so i don't have a scale to weigh the babies but now having oscar my full-bodied silicone and knowing that oscar is nine and a half pounds and picking up nicholas i can certainly guesstimate that nicholas is a good ten and a half eleven pounds um you know he's definitely a chunk chunkster baby, you know, a heavy baby. And to me, that feels real for, quote, his age or what I kind of envision him in because he does have the teeth. He does have a little bit longer uh, of hair. So that works. It works perfect for me. Look at the painting on this baby. Look at the mottling. I'm going to hold him up. I mean, just, oh, I love it. I just love the way that, that, this baby is painted. I don't know if the camera is picking up all of his mottling um, because it is nighttime, but oh, it's crazy. Look at those feet. I mean, they couldn't possibly look more real. Um, the creasing and the creasing in the, in also, you know, you got that, those rolls in the back of the leg and it's just like, 
the way that the depth of the depth of the painting and the creasing, you just feel like you're going to pinch. You feel like you're going to pinch skin, um, which I find um, amazing. And I, of course, <laughs> of course, uh, enjoy it very much. So I'm going to kind of put him at all different angles for you. Um, Another thing I love about the Saskia sculpt is in taking photos, you know, it's like every, every different angle is a different, um, uh, mood and look and, uh, just, I don't know. There's just, you know, the art of this sculpt is just to me absolutely amazing. You know, every which way that I turn him or get in on close ups and things when I'm photographing him, he looks so different. And, you know, some he looks like he's about to smile, some he looks like he's in thought, some he looks like he's about to cry. Um, and it just, it, it just amazes me. It just really amazes me. He is a really special baby. Um, it's funny because Nicholas was not a custom, but he was, um, you know, my artist did him for me. I, I wanted a boy Saskia. That was my specification. The artist doesn't do customs anyway. Her vision was to make um, a little boy that looked like my baby. So she had a screenshot up of me <laughs> on her screen while creating him, which I thought was really, really special. Um, so he was made to, you know, look like my son. Um, and I, you know, that's really neat. Like, I inspired this vision of this Saskia, and he could not possibly have come out any more perfect to me. He is exactly my dream Saskia. And when I came into the Reborns, now, he was my baby New Year for not this New Year, not 2019, but 2018. He was baby New Year. So... Back right before um, uh, New Year's of 2018, back in late 2017, um, or mid-2017, I guess, probably was when I came across the Reborns. And of course, shortly in, I came across the Saskia Sculpt, as probably we all have. Um, and I loved the Saskia. And of course, I saw a few of the, um, you know, maybe prototypes or just, you know, ones just so well done by, you know, um, very, uh, you know, talented artists. And I just, and of course, I was searching, but in the price range that I was searching in, I was certainly wasn't going to find, um, you know, the, the vision that I had in mind, you know, so it took some going through a couple Saskia's, realizing, um, what you really kind of have to pay to, <laughs> you know, y'all know what I'm saying. And, you know, finally, uh, you know, I was able to uh, get Nicholas, um, and I had Mackenzie, my little girl Saskia, which for me was like a dream girl Saskia, but as my collection grew, there was no way that I could keep two of the same sculpts, especially a sculpt this large, and my preference was boys, and my overall preference was Nicholas, so um, Kenzie has had a new mommy for quite a while who's very very happy with her and I'm very very happy with Nicholas there was a time um even not so long ago that I thought about selling him just because I'm trying to downsize my collection and um you know I had him in the hope chest you know thinking you know okay I'm I'm okay with him being in there maybe I could let him go and just the minute, you know, I was thinking about him and thinking about him. And the minute I took him out, I it just, 
there's just no way. He, he was made for me, you know, and I feel like it, it's almost like a struggle to hang on to some of the dolls that I have right now because I am limited with space, but I won't always be limited with this space. And I feel like if I let Nicholas go and a few, couple years down the road, I have say an extra room because another, you know, one of my kids flies the coop or something like that. I'm really going to would would regret not having uh Nicholas in my collection. So I think he's one that I'm going to do everything I can to to hang on to him. And um it I felt like I was searching forever for my dream Saskia. I mean, in reality, forever was, you know, maybe four or five months. But that feels like a long time. And especially, and I went through a few of them, bought and sold, that I just, they were nice. But they just did not hit that spot. And of course, Nicholas just has that magic for me. He does it for me. Um, and, uh, I love, you know, when, when you have, when you get babies that you absolutely feel like that absolute magical connection, like they feel so real to you, you love them so much, you're just so happy with them, you wouldn't change a thing about them, they're everything you wanted in that sculpt. That's a dream baby, right? You know, I mean, I think so anyway. I mean, that's my my opinion on a dream baby. And that's what I was talking about in the, uh, you know, my other video, which I'm not, I don't know how to make the video like float up top so that you could like, so I could go, oh, click on that video. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, <laughs> ladies, but... It is a few videos back, um, and I will put it a link in the description below um, about, um, uh, I think that it's titled Making Your uh, Reborn Babies Feel More Realistic, and it's all about waiting. Um, so that was, that was a great uh, video, and... Uh, everyone really seemed to like that video. And it featured Stellan, who is my dream Levi, uh, which I'm always happy to show off my sweet Stellan. So here is Nicholas in this outfit, and he could not possibly be more <laughs> gorgeous in this outfit. Say hi, aunties. I mean, oh my gosh. He is just so precious. Um, he's and th I love uh, the classic baby look, and it suit the classic baby look suits Nicholas so well. Look at this baby! Look at this face! Look at this face! Mm -hmm. I can't! I can't! Mommy can't! <laughs> So in those blue eyes and that blonde hair, and it's like the perfect blonde because I it's not like bleach blonde, um, which is just not so realistic for me for a baby. Um, it's just such a nice golden blonde, and he's got that sun-kissed uh glow going on. Oh, he's just really really something else let me see if I can show him to he's such a big baby it's hard to uh to feature um <laughs> larger babies I think um uh both Katie and Inez uh have the had Reese have pretty new I is it the is it the Tobia sculpt, I think, by Lori Lee Eagles? I'm pretty sure it's the Tobia that um that it's a looks to be a pretty big baby. <laughs> they were like, how are we gonna do a changing video and, and film? You know, you're so used to um tiny babies. And for the most part, my I 
I do favor um, tiny babies, newborns, and even more so preemies. I really, that pings my heart, the tiny babies. But like I have Shay, who is my Maisie sculpt um, by Andrea Arcello, and she is, I, I adore her. It's fun to have a little bit, you know, bigger of a baby as well. And Nicholas is my um, bigger boy. So I, yeah, I just, I'm just loving him. So I hope that you all were happy to see Nicholas as well. Happy to see that. Uh, Nicholas is uh, sticking around for now and <laughs> you know I don't have any uh, you know immediate plans on letting this guy go he is one that when I had hit first got him and when I featured him in a lot of videos I got tons and tons of the if you ever let him go um, you know he's you know, I guess, you know, the blonde hair, blue eye kind of is maybe a dream baby to a lot of you. Let me know in the comments um, as far as what is your dream baby look like as in like hair and eye color? Um, see, I mean, you all know me. It's just for the this sculpt the Saskia this is what I see this little blonde hair blue eye boy but yet you all know I mean I lean towards and favor uh, AA babies African American babies <laughs> I'm a very much so um you know but I diversity is you know I I love too but I do I do I am more typically drawn to the um the AA babies over all other. So just curious though as to uh almost like taking a poll as to uh, um personal preferences as far as what you love to see in um you know what floats your boat in like hair and eye color uh you know I'm going to put this down a little lower. I don't want to put it cold. I forgot. Let me see. I just thought this looks cute with this kind of classic look. This is cut because it was cut for the Twinkie's mouth, but it's still, actually, it fits his mouth. Uh, you know, the, it sticks out a little bit, but yeah, no, it, it does. It fits his mouth a bit. So I, that kind of finishes off that more um, classic look, which I think is really cute. So, um, oh, what else was I going to say really quick? When I got him, baby, New Year for 2018, boy, oh boy, did I have a flood of babies coming in after him. I had several come in before him and then it was like my role of everybody was like, oh my gosh, there's a box opening every two weeks type of things. I have babies coming and going, coming and going because I was new and I was getting to know um, my taste. <laughs> um, so I feel like I never truly, I mean, I, I'm, obviously I love Nicholas and, the, and I have obviously a bond to him but I didn't truly get to spend the time with him like I don't think I ever like bought him an outfit that was his own I, I you know I didn't um you know spend a lot of times making like feeding and changing videos after he came home and like the kind of the usual things that you do because I forget who came directly after <sighs> him in Osphoria might have come in and then I had uh, Sunny and Tink and those were all crowded in um you know right right smack after Nicholas so yeah I feel like I didn't have even the time I feel like there's not a lot of pictures of him look at the bottom of that isn't that cute just with all the buttons <laughs> I feel like I didn't don't even have like a lot of pictures of him up on Instagram and stuff like that because I I hashtag my um, baby's uh, photos every I started doing it um, long after I got Nicholas but I started doing it 
I don't know, maybe about six months ago, where I will put hashtag Pixie Mommies and then whatever the baby's name is. So Pixie Mommies Nicholas, Pixie Mommies Oscar, Pixie Mommies AZ, so that if I ever want to look at all the pictures of uh, one of my babies, I can just put the hashtag in or if I wanted to show someone else. So yeah, I feel like I never really got to do that. And uh, you know, I never really got to do his look except for um, a little bit of a rock star look because he does have a little uh, rock and roll kind of clothes and Auntie Ashley sent the um, the posse with the, um, the uh, skull and crossbones, which he looks really good in black and that look is really nice, that rock star look. So he's very versatile too because he's kind of back, he's between... A, a rock star and a classic baby and this this classic um baby blue just looks so beautiful on him with his eyes and black brings out his eyes too so I think those are like his two styles but I never like I said I never really kind of got that down and dressed him a lot and did uh did pictures and videos and stuff so Nicholas is back I hope you all enjoy seeing him. Tell me about your Saskias. Tell me what you think. You think the Saskia is a rather timeless sculpt? Because I do. I would say that the Saskia is a timeless sculpt. And I'm going to take you off the tripod to look at him a little bit. If I lose you, I'm just going to let it just put up the video. Um, you know, I won't be able to edit, but I will try not to lose you. Oh, I did it. Okay. So just to get a better look, look at, look at those feet. I mean, is he not just a dream? Tell me, ladies. I feel so lucky I feel so blessed to have I'm like how could I possibly have thought of parting with him I am so blessed to have him I think every collector needs a Saskia in their collection <laughs> um and she's just you know in every angle the Saskia just looks you know, and I can comb his hair down, and, and so I like to just kind of leave it a little messy and, you know, whatever, but, oh, uh, look at him. So I think that, let me know if you'd like to see more of Nicholas. Would you like to see a feeding um, video of him? Maybe do a bottle feeding and uh, show him off a little more and have some fun with baby Nicholas and I'll be taking some pictures so don't forget to stop on by and visit my Instagram at pixie mommies underscore reborns and that's always in the description of the video as well and don't forget to check out my video on how to make your babies reborn babies feel um very realistic and see uh, baby Stellan, um, that will be in the description below as well. If you don't know where the description bar is, if you look right over where it says uh, subscribe in the notification bell, there's a little like, little kind of down pointing arrow um, or upside down triangle that you click and it drops down, the description drops down and you will read about whatever I type in about the video and whatever links that I put in there, that's where the description is. And while you're over there, don't forget if you enjoyed this video to head on over and smash that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you receive invites to my live streams and so that you know when I next upload a video. So, don't forget to give this video a like as well. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. God bless.